everyone, it's Marissa. I'm back here with the vlog today. And today you are joining for my experience with planting my very own first garden. I will preface this by saying I have done like a little bit of container gardening and my mom is truly the one with the green thumb. So <laughs> I've been wanting to make my own garden for a really long time. And I just figured today was a great day to start doing that. We weren't sure if we were gonna move or what was gonna happen in the next few months, but I think we're kind of stuck here for the time being, which is awesome because I'm gonna get going with my garden. So I'm gonna show you just kind of some minimal, basic, really beginner first garden supplies that I got at the Home Depot today. All right guys, so like I said, just some really min minimal basics. You need some garden soil as well as some fertilizer. And um, this is like a vegetable and tomato fertilizer. You use about one or two teaspoons like per plant. Um, I have some really simple tools, a shovel, some gloves, and then I got a variety of plants and a watering can. So I'm mostly going for a veggie garden here. I've got a bunch of different peppers, tomatoes, and I'll give you a tour of all the plants later on. And I also got some seeds. And then as far as seeds go, I got some uh, peas, I got some cilantro, some green onion, um, basil, rosemary, carrots, I think that's it. Okay, so this is the area of our yard that we're going to garden. And I'm not gonna do raised garden beds this time, I'm just trying to keep it kind of inexpensive. So step one is to dig and get rid of the grass. So after about an hour of me trying to dig up the grass with a shovel, I decided to call in reinforcements and our friend Barry came over. He brought his tiller and he helped us tear up all the grass. It was pretty rocky though, so we had to spend the next day or two picking out all the rocks and the grass and preparing the soil for all the planting we were going to do. We were able to finally plant all of our seeds and the tomato and pepper transplants that we had gotten. And after a few Ralph treats later and a few hot days in the sun, we had our garden planted and ready to bring us a bountiful harvest. Friends, welcome back to my garden. I'm so excited to show you what I've created the last few months. I know the last time you saw this place, I was just literally trying to dig it up with a shovel. So we've made a lot of progress since then. And as you can see, I have been eating from my garden and everything has grown super fast, even though I only planted it about two months ago. So it's been really fun. Um, as you can see, zucchini got out of hand here. Uh, <laughs> so you gotta keep an eye on your garden or things will get crazy. And they don't taste very good when they're this big, but I'll probably still use it for zucchini bread or find some other use for it. Some of the goodies I've been eating are zucchini. Like I said before, we've got lots of cucumbers, squash. Um, these gypsy peppers have been doing really well and they're kind of like a banana pepper taste. And then we just barely this morning started getting some tomatoes. So I'm really excited to show you the garden. All right, follow me, I'll come show you. So this is the herb garden and I planted all of this from seed. We've got basil here, cilantro and green onion. And it's really fun to come out here in the morning and just take a few snips for either breakfast burritos or to make a salad with the basil. It's so nice having this fresh herb garden. And I also have some dill, I'll show you that in a second, but that's been really nice too. I used that to make a cucumber salad this morning. And as you can see, it's like flourishing. So it might be a little too much, but hey, I'd rather have too much than not enough. So you can see we've got our corn here, which also we planted from seed. Can you believe that it is taller than me? It's so big. And it's starting to get little uh, corn guys right here. It's been really fun to watch it grow. Um, I have had some problems with the corn, as you can maybe see on this side. It keeps falling over if there's any chance of wind. So um, if any of you have suggestions on how to help your corn to stay up, maybe I didn't plant it deep enough or I'm not sure exactly what went wrong, but some of the corn will stand back up like these guys. They'll just write themselves back up and some of it has just kind of fallen over and I don't know what to do with it. but. I'm excited that at least we're getting some corn that we can eat pretty soon. So these are the peppers, like I was showing you those gypsy peppers, and these have been growing really well. I've got some more buds coming in here. And um, yeah, I love having peppers. I use them a lot just like in all sorts of dishes. And we also have some culapenos, which I don't like super spicy stuff, so that's been really nice to have 
a pepper that kind of tastes like a jalapeno, but it's not too hot. So yeah, love the peppers. They have been thriving. They've been doing really well. All right, so these are the watermelon plants and this is the biggest one we have growing right here. It's very exciting. I have a few others growing. Follow me over here. I have this one here. I just noticed today it's like a long shape instead of a round shape. I think I've heard before that watermelons are male and female and I'm not sure which is which. But very exciting. We have a few other watermelons hanging out here and I can't wait to eat them. Okay, the cucumbers have been very plentiful. I've been picking cucumbers almost every day. So this is the cucumber plant and originally I got two cucumber plants for my size of garden and I think that's perfect. Don't think you want any more than two. So here's an example of one that is actually ready. So I'm gonna pick it right now and go have that for lunch. But there's all sorts of cucumbers. You just kinda have to dig around in the leaves. I will say I've had a problem with the cucumbers getting eaten by rabbits or I don't know what else, but these have been the things that <laughs> the critters like to go after. So. When I can find one without nibbles in it, I get pretty excited. All right, friends, the tomatoes have been a project. Now, they've been thriving, as you can see. It turned into a tomato jungle. So the wire cages that I had holding the tomato plants up initially didn't do the job anymore after a few weeks. So Mitch just built these little cage things about a week ago, and we just found these little um, wooden pegs, I guess you could say, from Lowe's, and he just hammered them in. We wrapped some string around to kind of help make a bigger cage for it, but I don't know. I've seen on YouTube some other people building like trellises and stuff for their tomatoes, so maybe that's what I need to try next time. But for now, I'm just excited that they are a little more stable because before they kept bending over and breaking and taking over the whole garden, covering up the peppers. It was a mess. So I picked my first few tomatoes today and I'm excited to have some more growing here pretty soon. All right, so here we have the zucchini and squash jungle, and I have a squash plant back here, and you guys, these were just one of each. So this is a squash plant that was about this big when I got it, and then this is our zucchini plant that again was about this big, and they just grow so much. So if you're kind of a smaller gardener like I am, you literally just need one of each, and they will give you plenty to work with. So I've still been getting a few squash and zucchinis, but they were, popping out stuff every day a few weeks ago and now it's kind of slowed down so I don't know if I'm gonna get a lot more from them but it's been really delicious until then. So here I have peas. The peas haven't done super great just to be honest. They have not flourished but they have been doing pretty good and I can still get some peas out of them every few days. Oh here's one. So they're fun to eat but they have kind of gotten smashed, stepped on, covered up from the zucchini. I would probably plant them somewhere else the next time I do this, just so that they can have a little more space to grow. Um, and I think these would also be ones that would do well on a trellis. I can't wait till he's ready to eat. Okay, so over here I have beans, and as you can see, the corn. Just been having some problems with the corn, but um, the beans have been delicious. We have lime ricky beans, so they're like purple. I'll show you one. They are these um, like purple beans. And then when you break it open, it's actually green inside, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> Ralph likes the beans too. The problem I've had with the beans is, I don't know if you can see, but the leaves have just gotten a lot of damage from, I don't know, bugs, critters. But they haven't affected any of the beans, so I haven't been too concerned about it. You can harvest like a few every day, but it's never enough for like a full meal. So maybe in the future I would have a bigger section just for beans because they are super good. This is our dill and like I was saying before, it's so fun to have dill to make pickles with the cucumbers or to put on um, like salads or all sorts of things. And I do have some peppermint growing in here too. Um, it hasn't thrived as much as the dill has, but the dill has been really good. These my friends are the carrots, which are pretty much dead at this point as you can see. Um, my mistake with the carrots is that I planted them in this container that didn't have any holes. And it rained so much here that it just kind of flooded and so everything kind of died. But I will show you that I did drain some holes in it now. So I just took a screwdriver and drilled some holes in there so it can drain a little bit. But that was my mistake at first, having no drainage holes. 
And then over here, we do have some more beans. You can see there's some little guys coming in right here, right here. And we just love the beans so much, we wanted to plant some more of them. And you can see over here, the leaves aren't as damaged as they are in the garden. So maybe there's not as many bugs over here that like to hang out, but yeah, we love the beans. And we just planted these in an old tire that we found on our property. Um, just thought I'd make a good little pot there. So that's what's going on there. One more thing that didn't work out was my spinach that I planted in this container. And same thing with the carrots, didn't have any drainage holes, so it just kind of flooded and died. So I might start over with the spinach, but for now I don't have any. <laughs>